Welcome back Anglo-Saxons, my name is Mr. Craven, this is some more European Rosales for Mary Nostrum playing as England. <sighs> it's amazing. Um, some rivalry going on, Brabant and the Netherlands have both done some rivaling. Denmark has been fa making a thing. Parliamentary traditions, finally to understand me we get 10 legitimacy, thanks to the Londonen. The ones from London in particular. Yet, <laughs> you lack a tiny space right there. France declares on Burgundy. Well, rip Burgundy. They basically had no more allies either, so it's just France versus Nevers and then Burgundy. And another 10 legitimacy, because why not? Uh, really? Another 10 legitimacy? That's so useless. Um, I could easily take the tech now, by the way. 484 now. Um, Spy Network in Holland we're building. Oh, you sly little dogs. Everything is under 500 points right now as well to get tacked up. Perfect. Um, yeah, once we get our relations high enough with these two, we are going to start annexing them. And probably in the month before we annex them, offer an alliance to Sligo and get them as friends as well. They oh, they do desire some provinces now. We get seventy. That's one hundred and twenty, one hundred forty-five, um, a hundred and fifty-five, a hundred and eighty. The guarantee would be 190. Exactly enough. But our, by the time we get there, our aggressive expansion will have dropped as well. No worries there. Mm, Castile, Austria, Portugal, they'll like me. This is why I want France to declare on me, so we get everyone involved against him. They're all on Tech 5, we are on Tech 5, France is on t Of course, France is already on Tech 6. The Dutch got an heir in Flores. Flores the 6th becomes Flores the 7th. Würzburg is now an elector. Which elector got eaten? Cologne? No, they're still here. Mines, mines got eaten by Würzburg, and that decided the emperor decided. Yeah, you know Würzburg, you're now worthy of becoming an elector yourself. Mm. Yeah, Cologne starts off as an elector, but they lost that at something. Oh no! Now they oppose again. Friesland declare. Oh, that's a big one. Hey, and Oxford. <laughs> Oxfordshire, um, not opposes, damn it, um, backs, they're now backing it again, uh, we are only on minus one relationship, I can easily go for minus two now, so that's where I marry them, they feel protective, give them an alliance, really protective, Oh, now they're ally, valuable ally even. Ooh. Offer military access. Yeah, everything now. Confirm that. By the end of the year, they'll be our vassal. Proclaiming a guarantee is next. It's really easy to get vassals if they actually decide to like you. So... Guaranteeing. Now we need to need, give a big enough gift. Oh, I do need to pause it as well. Otherwise, we drop the relationship. Minus three versus plus two. Uh. Oh man. That one. F Why am I... So <sighs> I really need to get some... Catch up on some sleep soon. Because what you just heard now was me raging at the fact that the game was running at speed 4. 
And in dropping the speed back down to 3, I apparently hit my recording button. Which means that we lost two and a half years of game. Again. Now, this was not a time that a lot of things happened. Um, we started, oh, well, we ma managed to vassalize Sligo. We managed to start annexing Ulster and Leinster, and are actually quite far along already. Um, yeah, we are about 14 month in, months into Ulster and 18 into Leinster. Of those uh, 30 that we just lost, 31 actually. Uh, we didn't have any wars, so that's at least a good thing. I can now tack up military to 6, which is what I did originally on this date. Um, so I just The Iron Man is screwing me over so hard right now. That and the fact that I'm just not paying enough attention to everything I'm doing. It's like, yay, I lost another two and a half years of this Let's Play. It's just, I'm just really pissing myself off now. It's just, that's just so bad. So it's like, yeah, I ended this episode, so I pressed the record button, and I see it starts recording, and I'm like, this is not good. And then apparently I only recorded about five minutes, maybe less, of the full 20 of this episode at first. Um, I did go for tech first, I think. I think I already clicked the button previously. I think I did. Um, yeah. Uh, something that might happen again is that... Oh, yeah. Portugal and Castile were at war with Morocco. And would not join a war against France because of that. And I would like to have Portugal join a war against France right now because they have a 363 leader running around which would handily beat up the 1-5 that France has. This is actually a really big problem for me to handle on my own, a 5-shock leader right now. So they took four provinces from Morocco, not bad at all, and apparently Castile in the meantime had a Granadan, uh, a huge Granadan revolt happen, so that's blacked out as well. And that was the moment for Aragon to decide and jump in on it. I decided to basically forego my alliance with Castile. Oh no, they did jump in on it. That The war has happened. Oh, right. The war is already on its way. Um, Castile is at war with Aragon. So it's been going on for a lot longer than I thought. Huh. Actually, I don't even remember when I stopped the game. I just reload it to 1st of July. I'm just like, you know, I missed so much. I'm just gonna end the game. This is the only way to skip a save game in um, in Iron Man, is to just end the application right out. If you alt a 4, it will save first. If you exit the game, it will save first. So you have to end it through the um, control alt del menu that pops up the system management thing it's the only way to get it and it doesn't roll you back that far because all Iron Man saves very regularly so we didn't really yeah I think this is like really recent I mean possibly actually exactly after the war uh, started that they decided to do that okay Friesland is going ham here. Wow. Uh, all these members of the Empire will never join a vassalization. Oh. Now that is interesting. Um, that's Brittany, by the way. That's not Provence, even. No, no, no. Whoa, what? Okay, so Brittany has... Currently minus 25. Yeah. We already vassalized Sligo. The question is, how much more can we get by 
jumping in. Um, getting in the lions and and a row march will up this by quite a bit. Uh, we'll gain at least ten that way. Now we would need reputation, which we currently do not really have because of legitimacy is below ninety. So while it's possible, I don't see it happen really fast. But it is doable. Anyway, um, let's get some new claims. I'm, I started losing my claims on Scotland. That's something that happened too. Because they just simply ran out. And I started our spy network again there. I was building some more buildings. There were no major events that happened recently. Um, because we court Cambrai, I needed to get another seat in Parliament. I don't even remember if that was before or after we got this far in. This can start in February of 73. I'm just... Oh, I'm just so... Damn tired. But yeah, that was just me raging at the fact that I was at speed 4, which I didn't want to be at. So I just mashed the wrong button there as well. Castile now controls the Pope. Well, excommunicate Aragon, maybe. Yeah, the main reason I didn't join in on the war against Aragon is the fact that Austria joined in as well with, with Aragon. Despite the fact that Aragon is the aggressor. Yeah, Aragonese conquest of Quenza. Aragon is the aggressor, and they got Austria and the Pope. No, yeah, Pope Naples. Yeah, Naples as their. Oh no, royal marriage with Leinster has died. Oh no. Well, we're annexing them anyway, so. Now, already halfway done as well. Oh man, I just. Uh, this is the second time in one playthrough because normally when I record I save regularly at least at the end of every session I will save and hey what is this vassalize Brittany I actually get a choice to do that now let's do that get a UTCB against some pastor heretic Tico Converendo Act, I like that a lot. Basically more value. Workshops! Point 0.19, pretty damn good. Better than London actually. Point 0.22 in Essex even, hello. Let's build a workshop. So they want me to vassalize Brittany. They are allied to Savoy all the way down there. I think that's not a big deal. Um, it will impact our aggressive expansion, obviously. We're only at 41 with France, actually. That's not that bad. It will bring us over our relationship. I'm going to at least wait until the annexations are done so we don't get across our relationship limit again. Oh, wow. Instantly passed. We had a 75% chance as well. Cohort, we can no longer claim cohort, but yeah, we get a bonus diplomat as well as increased speed on our things. I'm gonna claim another province on Scotland. And I'm going to do what now? Improve relations with Castile. After their war is over, they possibly. Ah, uh, they dishonored the lines. That's a problem. They. We do lack some trust now. You must be allied to increase trust. Oh my. That's not good. But yeah. Um, I'm just so disappointed in myself. Ah, oh, Twice in one let's play. I've been really contemplating just starting over from the beginning. But then I'm like, yeah, I've already uploaded quite a bit, so... Hmm. 
This is just me being... Oh, wow, we actually lost our general, too. Let's get a new one, because we're going to need it. A 0300. That could have been a lot worse. The fact that we got pure shock out of it is actually the best. Ugh. I'm gonna cut this one short. Uh, just because I'm so ticked off by myself. I just... It happened again. I mean... The how? Uh, things like this. Yeah, you know... It hasn't happened to me in Stardew Valley. Which is like... I love that game. But the save system is so... Set. You can only save when you go to sleep at night. So... If you then save and then something went horribly wrong with the recordings, you, you will have lost something. There's no way around it. Playing EU4, if you play normal without Iron Man, you can just save in intervals and like, oh, I just balls up this episode, I'll just go back and re-record it. I mean, that's 20 minutes lost. Now I lost for a second time, which is the worst part. Uh, just actual game time in which things happened. It wasn't that much. It it honestly wasn't, but it's still something, and that's just what ticks me off so much right now. <sighs> I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. Also, um... There will be four videos a day for a little bit, because I'm like, yeah, I want to get Amari Nostrum out. Especially with the fact that I'm screwing things up so badly with the recording itself. Not the gameplay, the gameplay is going fine. We already have the entirety of Ireland now, which is something I was talking about in those lost minutes, but... Yeah, we, we have quite a bit of land, which is amazingly good. Just that I need a chance to target Scotland. And the problem is, right now, no one... Huh, Austria will now not join because they are at war. Allied with France. It's annoying. <sighs> yeah, I will be bringing out four videos a day for a while. Two of this Let's Play. One of Stardew Valley. And then probably one Interchanging Ideas Guy. And the Civ series. Uh, I, I, I still want to finish the Ideas Guy campaign. I mean, it's, it's a pure achievement run. And it's... It's a different pace, definitely, than this is. But yeah, we still have this one. Yay, princess is in this castle. Successfully passed 11 issues in a row in Parliament. Oh. That's actually quite interesting one, too. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.